What's up guys? So today we are back in my studio, Sci Studio LA. One thing I've been knowing over, you know, the last few months, a lot of people shooting in my studio is not a lot of people shooting this open space. I left this space open for a reason. And today you guys are going to see the power of lighting and why having an open space is so crucial to your videos because you guys can make it your own. So yeah, let's just get started with today's video. So today we're shooting a live performance with my guy King H. You guys have been watching all the videos that I've been posting on my channel, working with him. It's, you know, it's been cool, love his music, love his vibe. So the thing, my main concern today with that 360 shot, because that's something I woke up and like, is it possible? It's a white piano, you know, white is just, it's hard to hide. So controlling lighting is really crucial. There's a red throne chair. There is everything. There is uh, white walls, which make it really difficult. So how do I cover this without moving anything? I want to keep everything there. Just want to control lighting, put it here. There is a stage as you guys are watching. Uh, I have to put it up so I can rotate 360 on this one. There's a pyramid. Uh, that's black, so that'll be pretty easy to cover up. And then there's those white long tubes from uh, the RGBs that I have in my studio. And God, you know, that's, it's a lot. I didn't even, you know, you guys probably saw the cop car. The cop car itself, like, can I hide this? You know, uh, it's very glossy. So if that those backlights hit it, it's gonna reflect or you're gonna see it. So gotta point it down. There's a lot in this, so it's a test. And can it be done? Uh, let's find out. So the lights that we use today to concentrate the shots that you guys watch, hopefully it came out good. I have yet to shoot it yet, but it's technically we're using the Pavel 230X, the new ones, and I put it on a grid right above him on top of the mic. Reason for it again is because when I wanted to do 360 shot, I didn't want any light stand, C stands, anything around the artist. So I wanted to do that Pavel tube on top with the grid to concentrate the light so it doesn't spill everywhere. And I only use two Nanolite 460Bs with the projector, again, to concentrate the light. I have real control when it comes to those little side things where you can basically you know, adjust the, the lighting and shape it to your own liking. So I use four DJ lights. Uh, they're discontinued, but they're portable. They're epic. I got lucky that I came across them about two years ago now. And yeah, they're just really clutch. Uh, and I was able to just literally use those to spotlight them. So as I'm going 360 around King H, you know, technically, it's just showing like spotlights all around them. So it's making the room feel bigger. That, that was at least my goal, making it feel bigger than, than what the room is actually is. You know, it's a big space, but I wanted to make it look like he's in a big black room with just spot spotlights and it's a live performance and he's in a huge warehouse. That was my goal. I wanted to showcase people and myself if it's possible to control lighting and make everything without doing too much, you know? And I feel like uh, well, as a matter of fact, I don't even know what, it, what it's gonna look like, but hopefully it came out pretty good. guys so now we're at the end of the video you guys watched the live performance i even checked it out myself it came out exactly what i envisioned lighting was not hard it wasn't crazy again it was just two 460b projectors with the light of course uh four dj lights spotlights and we also had the nanlite 30x i had my homeboy edg was just sitting right there as i'm going 360 you can't even watch them my girl was right there just kind of hitting it with the fog machine you cannot see her it really felt like we were in a big ass black warehouse and it was just spotlights lighting it up, but it was literally in this warehouse. So uh, with that in mind, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy that it came out the way I saw it because I really wanted to first challenge myself, but also showcase to you guys what you guys can do in open space. You know, it doesn't have to be 360. It doesn't have to be a wide shot, but utilizing lighting to an open space, you may you can make it your own. You know, you're ne it's, a, it's a shot that not anyone can create but you. So next time you guys walk into different studios, keep in mind, you know, this open space is really crucial. It's really about making it your own. It's really about having a shot that not anyone can get because it takes some time to think about it. 
And this one is just, what was it? Three lights there and three lights here and one light up there. So seven lights total, but they're all small and portable. Hopefully, you know, I was just able to, I guess, inspire you guys, motivate you guys to get up out of this, watching this video and go out and make something. Uh, if you guys do make something in an open spot, you know, share it to me on Instagram, at Mario Visions, and I really wanna see what you guys can do in an open space. Again, set designs are cool and all, don't get me wrong, I like to shoot in them, but it's also the, the benefit of having an open canvas is you make it your own. You do a shot that not anyone can get. It takes work, it takes thought, and that's really what I wanted to show you guys and myself, because I didn't even know if it was gonna be possible to hide all these things while it's here. So anyways, if it helped you guys, drop it a like. If you guys wanna see more challenges like this, I mean, hopefully I could wake up and have these type of challenges in my head. But if you guys wanna see more like this, let me know, drop a comment, and uh, yeah, I'll be down with that. If you guys have any, you know, I guess, challenges you guys wanna throw at me, let me know. And then maybe you guys are fighting with a certain way of, about lighting that maybe I can answer for you guys. So yeah, anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.